I do not make the rules, but MAC Well Lip Liner, modelled by me right now, and this lipstick, MAC Tres Blas, Tres Blase, Tres Blaze. We don't know, it sounds French. I can't speak French, but I'll let the funky music do the talking. <laughs> left-handed wow she's a pro do you know what it's one of those days where you like get back from work and your makeup is crumbling off your face and you've got to redo it with a new layer of makeup and it's just not okay no one wants that but that's what we've got to do these little earrings cute right little o's it's like better than a hoop because it's i don't know it's cute so welcome to another vloggy vlog some reason some people like these even though i have no idea why what i'm doing in half of them and i always have mess in the background what this is gonna be the bank holiday weekend vlog don't you think the english weather is a joke like random tuesday 34 degree heat no one wants that beautiful bank holiday weekend and we've got fucking shit storm honestly it's not right not okay but yeah, I'm gonna try and go out for a few drinks tonight. Drinkies getting loose, getting wavy. We haven't got a book in, so I don't think I'm even gonna get in. Because to the current pandemic, you cannot get anywhere without a book in. But I'm gonna hope because Clapham usually has has a lot of bars and club pubs, sorry, in Clapham. So I'm hoping someone, if we're like, please, sorry, please let us in, there'll be a space. But but my dilemma is what do you wear? What do you wear when it's raining and apart from jeans and trainers? Like there's not many opportunities to go out these days. So when I do, I want to like look like, all right, I want to try and use up my fancy clothes, but I just can't. And it is only a couple, I'm sure I'll work it out. But yeah, if you guys like my videos, hopefully you do, give them a little thumbs up. I do notice, I do notice. And subscribe. And why not comment? Let's have a little conversation in the comments. <laughs> I'm actually proud of myself because I found a somewhat appropriate outfit without having a breakdown so props to me i've got this river island dress not gonna lie it's like my favorite dress i think i own right now if i was to design a collection it would be this but with pockets you know utility cool but still kind of casual i have got a little black dress underneath just in case i get hot but hopefully i can just rock it like this then i've got the night blazers you already know and then jewelry those new earrings Anna Lou necklace that says Sadie in case you wouldn't know my name and my little Nike tick necklace from River cute I'm feeling it now I'm just waiting for the little betch to get here um but I'll quickly tell you what the sort of plan is for the weekend obviously it drinks tonight this was kind of impromptu weather impromptu impromptu I've never actually said that word I think I've only written it funny and then tomorrow I don't know why I'm doing this all when I'm gonna be probably a little bit hanging I'm gonna say now hopefully I'll stick to it I don't want to be hungover like i just want to be a little headache i can deal with do you know what i mean tomorrow we're going vintage shopping around east london and then something very exciting is happening also tomorrow i've got a busy weekend i'm getting another tattoo yeah i know i know i know a lot of people have different opinions on tattoos but yeah i'm getting another one with a new person she looks insane and the tattoo shop have given me permission to like film a little bits in there probably won't be filming a lot because i've got the worst pain threshold and everything kills me but i thought that would be exciting just to show the process because and it's like vegan ink and it's just cute and i'm excited so yeah so tomorrow I'll be tatted up, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Um, I'm in between two designs. I'll put up what I my inspo is here. So this is the first one, which is like a little angel. You know, I like the angelic, ethereal energy. But then I thought, is it too much to have goddess on this arm and the angel wings on this arm? And also, everyone I show it to is like, thinks it's nasty and tacky. And although I really like it, I know you should, it's your body, you should get what you want. Obviously, it does put me off if like everyone whose opinion I respect is saying that it's tacky, like literally everyone. <sighs> and then this is the other thing I want to get. So I actually wanted to get this like when I got my other tattoo as well. I would have happily got like four tattoos that day, but I thought, no, let's start with one, wait six months, you know, be mature about this. And I've waited longer than six months and I still want it. I just think it's really cute, dainty. It's not going to be too much. And I feel like this arm looks only, like this arm has the writing and this arm just looks weird. Like, I don't know. It needs a little friend, so yeah, I'll take you along with me. Where, where is she? I just want to crack open the rosé. Can I open it myself? 
No, that's grim. Oh, this is set up. This little <laughs> fucking dickhead here. This oh my god, my washing up's so bad. Look at that. Do my eyes see it? Just like. <laughs> <laughs> just it's like chilling in the corner. Gotta get one of you popping it. I've nearly broken my tripod, guys. Oh, yeah, it looks because funky. I've been doing that fire content for you. Looks <laughs> so like my legs are after work. I feel like we're about to do a TikTok dance. I'm savage. Oh, I didn't do that. I do that. Oh, really? <laughs> Break my. I actually miss TikTok Break dances. Miss. Yeah, me too. I wish people were still doing it. Right. What do you think of reels? You can do a reel. I don't know. I feel like you'll do a reel. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I'll see you catch your reel. So I right, early, you catch your reels. Right, we're doing a haul. So we've got Rosie's blonde. Yeah, and it really matches your eyeshadow. Oh my god. Is that why you got it? <laughs> you kind of amazing lighting. Like this. Let's pop it open. Don't oh, hit me eye. Yeah. yeah. Watch your eyes, guys. Before I came, you were like, <laughs> I was like, right, I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, half of that is gone. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, let's get some glasses out. I'll, I'll do the mopping. Trip hazard. <laughs> you can have the Laura glass. Sorry, oh, Laura, you. if you're Sorry, watching this. Angle. Sorry. Sorry, I used to live here. If you're watching, we've still got your glasses. So come yeah. pick it up whenever you want. <laughs> come collect. Come collect. Come collect, please. Come Laura. collect the glass. Laura. <laughs> but for now, I hope you don't mind, babe, we're gonna be using it. Thanks. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> It's like, it's ruined the smell for me a bit. Yeah. Like, uh, it's a high night life. We <laughs> can't go. We just want to make the moon oh over. <laughs> this looks like the nerd is fine. <laughs> like, here, I'm having the best time, but on camera, look how dead it looks. Us in the corner like, of the big room. <laughs> I just want to make the moon over. Oh, cheers, my dear. I was gonna crack that then. We've literally had one drink. And I don't because Why do we have the deepest chats every time we're together? Every time. I just walked in and I was like, so. What are we chatting about? So, life. how like, body count doesn't matter. Body Girls like, enjoy sex too. Yeah. And so, if we're like, oh, you don't need to know my number, it doesn't mean like it's a million. It's just what we wanted it to be. <laughs> we're going out in the club and coming. <laughs> the club. <Do> you <laughs> The so club. Important. Do you reckon people have like fully like done it during quarantine? Done what? Like... <laughs> sex. The sex. No, I don't think anyone had sex over quarantine at all. Not one person. Really? Said <laughs> not one. The fuck off. Not, not even married no, couples. Like, say you're out and like you. Like, obviously, I don't want to kiss anyone, but like, say people kiss in a club. Isn't that germs? With their masks you, on. You. <laughs> It's a new thing. <laughs> you transfer 20,000 bacteria <laughs> when you kiss. Oh. You're gonna risk good bacteria. Right, you've got to say to someone, am I worse, worth risking your life for? Because you could get corona. I'm worth coronavirus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Photo <laughs> of the night. I'm worth corona. <laughs> Lady of the night. Lady of the night. I don't know, babe. But actually, like that, you could be. <laughs> so, Sadie's left me outside. She's forgotten her mask. Just got the gins. Don't really know what to chat about, really. Maybe just chat about. <sighs> We're just going out to Clapham Common. I've never been. I'm really excited. I'm not a very natural vlogger. I don't really know what to say. I'll do an outfit, outfit of the day. So this is my outfit. <laughs> this is Sadie. Here she comes. Bless her. Honestly. All that for a mask, honestly, she takes the longest time. Hey, but how many times do you leave the house now and you're like, please, phone off? Yeah, that's okay, the I'm worst. Gone. She's worth it though. She's worth the wait. All right, boys? She's worth the wait. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> Little slow coat. this one. It's like a silk one. Oh, where's this one from? Girl makes it called Sinead Silks. Love that. And it's meant to be better for your skin, like better for mask. Oh, knee. stop ma mask. Yeah. Oh, I always pronounce it mask knee. Mask knee. <laughs> but I was like mask -knee. masculine mask knee. Because honestly, my chin was breaking out, but I feel like ah oh. That's the 
only like downside of masks when they fucking slap you in the face, you know? You know those ones? Oi, give me my gin! <laughs> Where's my gin? <laughs> All right, mate. All right. Say hi to Laura. Hi! You just joined the vlog. She's my yeah. new friend. I say friend, Laura's in the back like, do I fucking know No, I you? am, I am. I literally had to ask Amazing. her like, can I get a release form? So we just been turned away from London Cocktail Club, sad. Love that, love that for us. No, but good. Clapham, there is loads of opportunities. <gasps> this is the gay bar I went to. Oh. I mean... They have one beer garden. They do? We can make some yeah, friends. Can. You what know. Revs? Do people go to Revs still? Yeah, there's a vodka rev. It's really good. Who's no, there? <laughs> 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 Let's go. Are we gonna go there? Yeah? I mean, we can. Is it two for one? I'm not going. Is it two for one? I'm not going. Let's ask the bout. Should we go ask the bout? Vodka revs is also shot. So do you know what? It's looking like we're gonna be drinking on the streets tonight, guys. I mean, a lot can happen, can't it? Oh wait. Oh, there's one called Adventure Bar. Why is there like a banana on my foot? It's not, it's not. You know, like in Mario so Kart. Nice. It's like nothing. <laughs> Mario Kart, what? No, you Mario Kart when you drive over a banana. Yes! Yeah. That was yeah. me! Oh my god, yeah! You're like, what is what Mario Kart? Right, like, there's, there's one called Adventure Bar that's meant to be good, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, careful! Oh. <laughs> 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 you know when you trip and you try and style it out? You that was. You're on a banana in Mario Kart, and then you normally <laughs> trip for the night out. <laughs> That was not one of those times. I, oh my god. Who else fell? We'll go to Nando's and get their one beer that they serve on the menu. So. One beer? Bottomless beer. Look at you, you're like, one beer? What? What? You, sorry. Um, the, the, the clap and common one, please. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go 
out out tonight. It's turned into a spontaneous night. You're right. Be a Look at her, sexy bitch. She's wearing my top. How's the CB? Honestly, actually the best top I've ever Honestly, worn. It makes your yeah. boobs look a hundred. You said that in money, didn't you? These shoes as well, I don't know where they're from, but tag them, they're so comfortable. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've not worn them out yet. I could run a marathon with Seal the first one to wear them out. Well, here I am breaking the seal. And then I'll show you what I'm wearing. My black blazer is from Topshop. My dress is Fashion Nova. Just going all black vibes. I'm hoping when we're like in the club, I can take it off and like dance like a thought. <laughs> and I want to make love in this club. In this club. <laughs> no one's making love in Clapham, but. <laughs> I can <love> myself. <laughs> So shut the fuck up, <laughs> guys. I missed out on shopping. Look at me. Look at me. Look at it. Look at it. <gasps> I slept in my dress, my makeup, and I've thrown up like four times, and it was worth it. It was such a banging night. I don't know how it escalated. One minute we we're just having some casual drinks in Clapham. The next, I went to a club. I went to a club in a pandemic. It was actually good because those kind of clubs are really spaced out anyway and you, you have to sit on your table. So it was just me and my friend and we were just sat like in the table so we weren't near anyone and stuff. It was actually good. Really good music. It was nice to just actually get dressed up, dance. Like, you know, in, in, in bars and stuff, you can't dance. Whereas this, I was like, I'm just giving me the lies and I want you to know. <laughs> I think I'm still drunk. Can we talk about the fact that I'm having a needle put into my skin in two hours? I'm having a tattoo in two hours. You're not meant to drink because it makes your blood like thick, makes you bleed more. So she's gonna love me. Blood running down my arm, lovely. But I will vlog it anyway. I had to miss out on shopping because I was seriously not okay this morning. I'm actually a state. Am I gonna put this up? Yeah, I'm gonna do it because you're gonna see the real, the real Sadie Bass. This is what I'm like. I'm actually disgusting, but I really needed that. That girl's night was everything. That was so sick. I, I don't know. You know, you just feel good after seeing people. You're like, oh, that was so much fun. Um, okay, well, let's sort myself out. I just want to wear like a comfy outfit. Oh my god, my skin's gonna be so bad because I didn't clean it. This is the fit. This is the fit. Gone for. Oh my god, ignore my room. Hey boy misguided i don't I can't i why can't i talk 
My bronze is so badly blended. <gasps> I can't talk. Yeah. I literally got ready so quick. The worst makeup I've ever done. Like, what is this face? No lip liner, just gloss. Um, okay, let's go get tied up, bitches. Is this okay? I look fresher than I did, that's, that's for sure. Right, I made it to East London now. Not gonna lie, it's not really a place I frequent quite a lot, but most of the tattoo places, well, all the tattoo places I've been to are here. So, that tube journey was testing. There were so many points I nearly got off to throw up, but I, I was fine, I did it. Are you proud? Also, I saw like a little, there was a little boy with a policeman and like he had lost his parents. I hope he finds them. I'm now getting really anxious about it because I'm like, I shouldn't have drunk last night and then booked a tattoo, that's stupid, but hopefully she can still properly tattoo me and isn't like angry at me about it. <laughs> what a state. <sighs> I need some water. I need to hydrate myself, honestly. Right, so this is the shop. It looks really cute. Loads of like, I saw these butterflies. Obviously I'm getting a butterfly. I knew I was in the right place. <laughs> and I've even got a cup of tea. Seems like on this one, there's less, um, you know, she, there's lines yeah. through tiny ones here. Do you like it like that or do you prefer the sparseness of having these more oh. open? Like a tiny bit, but not the whole. It's quite hard with butterflies because there's so many ways that you could yeah, do they're, them. They're, they're really fun because you can just do anything. How long have you been like tattooing for? Um, I've been doing it for like two years, but a year is my main sort of thing. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I really like it. Like, I just, I like work and draw late at night and I don't yeah. feel bad about doing it because I enjoy it. So. I think that's what, that's the key to life, isn't it? Like finding a job that you actually, it's like a passion, you like doing it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. on, guys. So like it's carbon ink, so it kind of comes off and it's safe to go into your skin, the ink used. Mm. Oh my god, like, actually I love it already. Right, I'm led down, I'm about to get tattooed. I'm suddenly really nervous. <laughs> but Charlotte said she's not going to hurt me, so it's all good. <laughs> when you next see me, I will be a tatted up biatch. <laughs> This is not my angle, honestly. It doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would, so we're all good. We're all good, guys. It literally just feels like you're being scratched a tiny bit, but that's it. And that's coming from me. I'm the biggest pussy in the world, so... Thinking about getting a tattoo, but you're scared it's gonna hurt, it'll be fine. Especially if you come to Charlotte, I'm gonna leave the links down below for you. <laughs> It's done! Oh my god, I love it, it looks so cool. <gasps> uh, it's actually insane, this is exactly what I wanted. The vision has come to life, cute. And yeah, it wasn't painful. I'm not really sure how long it took, like half hour maybe? And it's got all the shading, let me try and show you. Right, it's obviously the next day. I'm looking a lot fresher than I did yesterday. I just got back. We ordered Chinese, had a fucking chill. I needed it after yesterday. I thought I was gonna throw off on the tube, but here is my tattoo. I love it. And it's so good that they even let me film in there, but I just wanted to come and chat about it because I, I literally cannot go over how much I love it. And I love that tattoo shop. The, all the staff were fucking insane. They were so nice, chatting to me, bought me a tea. We were chatting the whole time. And I was just honestly like, I think they're amazing. I think everyone should go there. Obviously, I'm going to leave their links below. So she uses a single needle. Like, she's still a gun, but she uses a single needle. I actually love it. Like, look. I've got to have this second skin thing on. It's kind of peeling. I'm meant to have it on for, like, four days, so I hope it doesn't come off. And then you just need to, like, moisturise every day while it's healing. And then if there's any little gaps, she will touch it up for free, which I think is great to, like, offer that service. So, yes. Let's have some of my coffee. 
Hey huns, I literally feel like you're not a YouTuber until you do like a cutaway while you're editing, like, mm, that was so professional. Um, so I'm watching this back and just realised I literally didn't tell you anything, any information about the tattoo. I got it done at Rose of Mercy with Charlotte sometimes. She is amazing. I loved it, as I said. It cost me £150, which I know some of you might think that's expensive, but that's very normal for London prices and for the detailing. I was very, very happy to pay that. You have to give a deposit before. She works every other weekend, so just email or DM her. Mm, I think that's everything. So yeah, now we can resume normal filming. <laughs> I feel like it's legit an addiction. Like, now I've got that. Because before I said this side looked lonely, and now I'm like, what up <laughs> But I text my mum, she was not too pleased. Emma was not impressed. I know sometimes my mum watches my vlog, so if you're seeing this mum, what do you like? Do you like it? I said to her I might get mum in a love heart. That would be stunning. <laughs> Today is bank holiday it's Sunday, so I'm just having a chilled one, doing a few pics and photos that I need to do. But I thought I'd come here and show you something very special. I can't quite believe I even did this. <sighs> I just did a bad thing. I don't regret the thing I did. <laughs> And you're wondering what it is. Okay, now, I am not someone to be braggy, like, decked out in all designer clothes. You know me, I love a bargain. But it was, a, I just, it was too much to resist. And it just, I've wanted these shoes for a very long time. And I thought, fuck it. I work so hard. If all my bills paid, my rent's paid, I've got savings. Like, if I want to buy something, I can. I shouldn't feel guilty and I should... It's like an achievement for me. Like money isn't all, that's not, the height of success isn't having money. But for me, this was like a, like a little milestone because the fact that I can buy this for myself, it just, it meant a lot to me. Okay. So we're going to do a little unboxing. I just also want to add these shoes were actually from a secondhand designer shop called Celia Knightsbridge, which I'll link below because the deals, the deals are unreal. They're honestly insane. I sometimes like go in and help them with their stories and their social media. So I sort of, yeah, like I sort of work with them. So we get all new bits every day. We put them up on stories and these shoes came in and I was like, oh, I've always said there's two designer items I would want in my life. And that's Balenciaga triple S trainers. And then one day I'll have a Chanel bag. They're like 3K. So <laughs> that is the next goal for like the next 10 years. Who knows? I probably will never own one, but I just think they're so beautiful and classic. Right. So I think I've manifested these into my life. Do you know what? I'm just going to get them out. But yeah, what are the chances of them coming into the shop? Brand new. Bra bra yeah, brand new. Never been worn in my exact size. Like, girl, girl, please tell me you, you would have done the same as well. Discounted, obviously, because it is secondhand. I was just like, I don't know. And I was thinking about it all day. I had them there and I was like, mm, do I do it? Do I do it? Tried them on and I just fell in love. And I was like, I, I, this is too good to have an opportunity to miss. Like from trainers that go for around 7.30, 7.40 to be discounted. No, I had to do it. So I want to do a little unboxing because I'm really proud of myself. And they're beautiful. So they have the box in the bag, which obviously made me even want to get it more because it did feel like it was like the brand new experience that you're not just getting a shoe on its own and that's why you should check them out because they have loads of new things or things in amazing condition and obviously they can go to a new home like me who's gonna love and appreciate them can we can we <laughs> so the trip these are the triple s with the clear sole you can literally see they have not been worn out brand new cute i love them I obviously have like dupes of these shoes anyway and I wear them pretty much every day. Like there is not a week that I haven't worn trainers in my life. They are heavy though. They are proper like stompers. Yeah, I love them. And with Valenciagas, you have to size down. So what are the chances as well of them being size three? I'm size four and I was just like, oh. there was a black pair as well, but we sold those. They literally, I knew they would sell, they sold instantly. But yeah, I'll link their Instagram, check it out because every day it's just like new deals and you guys need to get involved. One day my Chanel bag will be in my life. But yeah, also I felt like it was a bit of a yeah milestone for me because my ex bought me designer stuff before, like for my birthdays or whatever, when I'm so grateful for and that's amazing. But I never in my life, like genuinely, thought I would ever be able to buy something designer myself. I know that it's secondhand, but even then I'm like, 
I did that, like I did that myself. I'm a strong independent woman and if I wanna fucking blow my money on shoes, I can. So I don't know, that's why it feels special to me and I feel like they'll always have a place in my heart because I'm like, I don't know, just made me feel like a boss bitch. That dopamine hit me when I ordered them. It was too much for me. <laughs> Shopping is like a drug. That's why it's like an addiction, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully you'll see them on my Insta soon. Yeah, I think that concludes the vlog. I mean, what else is there to say? It's been an eventful weekend. I went clubbing for the first time in quarantine. Well, not quarantine, clubbing for the first time since lockdown. Got a fucking tattoo, nearly puked up on the tube and got to sign trainers. Like, I need to, like, I don't know who I think I am, a baller or something. I literally, I'm gonna be living on Audi baked beans for that, <laughs> to buy this tattoo and that. I actually don't know. I think I need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> don't think about it, don't justify it, it's all right. <laughs> so yeah, I might just get my bits done today and don't know, I've got plans for tomorrow, so I might just go out for one drink, one cocktail, one wine. It's his famous last words, isn't it? If anything funny happens, I'll put up the stories, but you never know. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my YouTube. We love to see it. Have a good week and I will see you guys on Sunday.